What is up YouTube? Golden State Rider over here, here back with another video and actually on today's video I want to cover the topic, the 6 month review of my 2022 ZXNR. I apologize for the bike because because of the season there are a lot of bugs on the road so I gotta go home and wipe it down because you guys have seen how clean is my bike but this just happened right now. So without a further ado let's jump on the bike and we can go from there. new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon every time i post a new video or content you will be notified also drop a like dislike and you know the drill as i mentioned earlier uh, on today's video i want to cover the topic of owning my 2022 zxnr for six months so um it's been a little bit over six months that i owned a bike but um i've been really busy editing other videos and i just hit my 1000 subscriber in about a week or 10 days ago and that was really exciting and make sure for the video that i posted for my 1000 subscriber i am giving away two gift cards of 25 dollar per subscriber choice so make sure you check that video out and i am giving away two gift cards of 25 dollars per uh, and that is the subscriber's choice of gift card so it could be starbucks could be the shopping bag or whatever and then that is when i get my first paycheck from the youtube which is in about a month or two then i can give out those gift cards so be sure to check that video out and i'll make sure to put it in the link below sub in the description over here so back to the topic on today's topic that i want to talk about my six month review about my 2022 zx10r um, like I mentioned, I bought the bike a little bit over than a little bit over six months. I believe it's been already seven months, but I tried to just make it for a six month review. So this was probably one of the best purchases I ever had probably in my motorcycle life. I've been riding the bikes over, um, I would say uh, 10, 11 years. And I always had Kawasaki, but this model, which is 2022 ZXNR, was one of the best purchases I ever had on my motorcycle life ever. Um, if I go back, yes, I would buy this bike over and over and over again. Why? Because the bike is super loyal, the bike is really reliable, and when it comes to the maintenance and technology, it's honestly one of the best bikes out there. Like comparing to all other bikes like Yamaha, uh, call Yamaha BMW and all those big folks this bike is one of the best I would say um, mainly this is my personal preference but to my knowledge and as far as I know about motorcycle this bike is one of the best leader bike that you can get out there and the reason is because the amount of money that you pay for this bike and then you pretty much get top of the line leader bike with all kind of technology on this bike uh, traction control lunch control um i don't know um it literally has a lot of technology loaded with a lot of technology that i cannot even like if i want to cover them all one by one it's going to be like half a day video so and as far as the mechanical goes and electric goes i absolutely had zero issue with my 22 ZXNR, not even once. All I did so far, I did my brake in service and been riding it since then. Um, the only thing that I did to the bike within this six month was my was the modification that I've done to the bike, and those mods are must modification because whatever motorcycle that you're getting. You, uh, you end up doing some modification to it because the bike's bone stock, they're not the greatest. Um, as far as the look goes, as, long, as, as far as the performance goes, they are not the greatest. So on my 22 ZX10R, the main the modifications that I did, um, it was 80% for cosmetic and to make the bike lighter. 
because I like to have my bike lighter and I believe I shaved around 20 25 pounds by taking my exhaust taking my mirrors and like I did whatever possible I could to the bike to make it lighter but can I still make it lighter than what it is yes I can do I have a room for modification yes I do am I gonna do it maybe um but one of the main modifications that I did to the bike was my ECU flash. Why? Because this 2022, because 2022 ZX10R uh, and 2021, basically 2021 and 2022 ZX10R are one of the most restricted bikes out there. So right now we're on the, for example, fourth gear. Look, this is like when you get your ECU flash. See, the bike pulls really faster. See? Versus if you were on your stock, the bike would be super slow. See? Trial is wide open. The only downside about this bike is the restrictions on the bike once you're getting it. But that's an easy fix, which you can fix it with less than a thousand or less than 500. It depends. Uh, what is you flash or who you going with that's fixable that's absolutely fixable then after that you can compete with all those big folks out there such as Yamaha BMW Ducati and all of those bikes out there so in these six months like I mentioned I didn't, did not have any problem with my bike as far as mechanical goes as far as electric goes um, the bike has been super loyal um, I just did my regular maintenance my chain maintenance and I did my uh, braking service and I do change my oil every 2,000 mile and that's it you just got to take your take care of your motorcycle like that's your baby and you are golden from there that's all pretty much you need to do and then the bike run its run on its own that's all guys I didn't really have anything to add I was just taking about taking this quick video to give you guys review of my six month or half a year review on my 2022 ZX10R so for whatever modification that I've done to the bike I have post all of them on my channel be sure to check the channel out check all those videos uh, in case you have one of these bikes and you want to do these modifications that I did to your bike then uh, it'll be easier for you to understand it if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so every time I post a new video or content you will be notified also drop a like dislike and you know the drill thank you and we'll talk to you later